So in this video, we're gonna be diving deep into the questions that you have been sending in. <music> Liam Ryan, I'm one of the co-founders of Assets for Life. We are a boutique property investment and educational company. I've been in business pretty much since I was in nappies. I love property, I love business, I love entrepreneurship, I love to help people just like you achieve financial freedom. Okay, right, so welcome to Q&A Thursday and we've had some great questions coming in over the last few days. We've got a question here from Sally Everett. This is a really good question. She said, Liam, Starting out in property, what is the best advice you can give someone? Well, that's a brilliant question, Sally. So again, thanks for tuning into all of my stuff. So the biggest advice, the best advice that I can uh, give anyone starting out in property, and you know what, that's like a really, it's, it's a bit of a hard question to answer because there's so much that you need to be doing at the start. But the biggest thing that I would say is get yourself among some really, really great people. Because that's not only going to help you in property, but it's also going to help you with business. It's going to help you with mindset as well. Surrounding yourself with great people that have been where you want to be, people that are going to push you, people that are going to encourage you, people that are going to allow you to flourish and grow is really the top bit of advice that I can give anyone starting out in property and in business. Uh, you may have heard of this, you are the sum of the five people or the average of the five people that you hang around with the most. So have a think about that now. Who are you currently hanging around with? And are they people that are sucking you dry? What I like to call piranha fish. Are you with uh, dream killers? People that are telling you not to do the things that you wanna do. And you know what? Like you've gotta make a decision. You either continue to listen to those people or you come and hang around with great people. You know, I hanging around with millionaires, successful people, entrepreneurs, business owners, and it's really important that you do the same. And this is why people come and hang out with me. And people come to my one day event, the Property Investment Summit, and they say, Liam, wow, you know what? This has been the most amazing event I've been to. You've really taught me the system. It's great to be around like-minded people. I've had a lot of people in my life holding me back. You can't allow other people to hold you back any longer. So surround yourself with great people and come and hang out with me. Somewhere in the description, there's a link. You can click the link right now and come and join me for one of my up and coming events. Question number two. This is from Mark Atterbury. So hi Mark and thanks for sending your question in. He said, for rent to rent Liam, once you have found a landlord that is happy to do a deal, how does the conversation go with regard to converting their property into a HMO? Uh, well, Mark, that's a really good question and I'm sure lots of people tuning in now uh, wanna know the answer to this. And this is really simple. It all comes down to the art of negotiating with your landlords. Now, most landlords in the UK are accidental and many people have got property, they really don't wanna manage tenants, they haven't really got an understanding of how to maximize ROI, return on investment. They certainly don't have a good understanding of how to manage tenants, to keep tenants, and they certainly don't know how to stage their properties to maximize room rates, to maximize rental income, and to ultimately keep the tenants for a long time. And you've only got to go on to say spareroom.com and have a look at the photos, you'll see that most of the photos photos on spareroom.com are horrific and then this is the reason why they're not renting out their properties or their rooms. So you go speak to a landlord, why would a landlord want to give you their property? Well for starters you're going to give them guaranteed rent, you're going to give them zero voids, you're going to take control of the property either through a management agreement or your company is going to rent the property and your company will become the tenant and then in that agreement it will allow you to operate that property as a HMO or serviced accommodation and it's very simple you just say to the landlord look I'm going to rent your property and what I want to do is then use your property as a multi-let property or serviced accommodation I only deal with professional corporate tenants and you can be rest assured that I absolutely will treat your property 
exactly like I would treat my own property. I'm a great landlord. I love managing tenants. I love working with tenants. And I'm really gonna look after your property to make sure this is a complete win-win. So question number three is from Kurt Fletcher. So hi, you Kurt. Uh, thanks for sending your question in. Um, he's actually got a plumbing and heating business. So check Kurt out if you need any work doing. He says, what are the good strategies to attract JV investors to myself and why would they do the work with me, i.e. Kurt, and not do it themselves? Well, look, here's the thing, right? Many people, like lots of people, have got, have got cash, but they work really hard. They're in the nine to five, they've got a business, and they're losing money in the bank. They're losing money, okay? Um, ISAs aren't necessarily performing. The stock market can be quite risky. Pensions aren't very good in many cases. And there's more money in the world today than we've ever seen before. It flows quicker. It's easier to access. It's easier to make. But the mind and how we've been conditioned tells us it's hard to make money. Now, I want to say right here, right now, every single person watching this video is investable. Like you really are, like people will give you money because people will get to know you, like you and trust you. And I'm sure you've got some great assets that you bring to the party. So number one thing to remember is there's lots of money in the world. Number two, you are investable. And number three, well, why would they give it to you and not, and not do it themselves? Well, they don't understand property. You know, they've not got advanced training. They've not come and spent time with me. They're not following the property freedom formula. They certainly haven't got access to the deals. They don't have the time. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the understanding. They don't have the drive. They don't have the desire. They're fearful of going out of their comfort zone. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is where you come into play. So why, if I'm an investor, why am I gonna give you my cash? Well, it's very simple. You've got advanced training. You've spent time with someone like myself, like you've learnt the system. We've got a system called the Property Freedom Formula. You have gone networking. You've found the deals. You've got the time. You've got the energy. You genuinely care for your investor. You're going to show them a good return on investment. There's so many reasons why someone is going to give you the cash. The question is, are you going to go and get it? That's the question. The question is, are you going to go and get the cash? How are you going to learn this? Well, come and hang out with me. I'd uh, love to spend some time with you. Uh, somewhere in the description, there's a link. Click the link, hang out with me, and I'll give you what you need so you can go and raise joint venture finance. Thanks for tuning in to this latest episode of Q&A Thursday. It's been my absolute pleasure to serve you. Please keep sending in the questions. We're actually here today at Stockbrook Manor. This is where we run our academy. Our academy is our year-long mentoring and masterminding program. And it's really important that you do go and get mentored and go and get the right education in property. Please now leave me a question below in the comments. Please like and also share the video and please make sure you stay tuned for more videos that I'll share with you every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Now going to be more videos to watch somewhere around the screen here. So click one of these videos and watch another video right now. Ooh.